Greetings, Sky Watchers. Welcome to The Sky Above Us. I'm James Albury, and I'll be your host for this series. If you're ever in Gainesville, Florida, you can find me at the beautiful Northwest campus of Santa Fe College, where I am the manager of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium. For over 13 years, the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium at Santa Fe College has been dedicated to enriching the learning environment of Santa Fe College students and our community. The Sky Above Us is a program that introduces you to the wonders of the night sky, all of which are visible from your own backyard. We'll also throw in some interesting space trivia along the way. For example, the month of March is going to be an amazing month for planet watching, and the moon will be paying a close visit as well. Wonder what I'm talking about? Let's show you. When ancient people looked up at the night sky, they saw thousands of stars. Over time, people began making pictures in the sky using those stars. We call those star patterns constellations. There are currently 88 constellations recognized by modern-day astronomers. Twelve of those constellations lie along a path in the sky traced by the sun and the moon. This path is called the ecliptic, and those twelve constellations are the constellations of the zodiac. Among the constellations of the zodiac, ancient people noticed five bright lights that didn't twinkle like the other stars. Furthermore, those bright lights moved. Since these lights were in different positions every night, ancient people called them wandering stars. The Greek word for wanderer is planetes, so we shortened that word to planet, and that's why we call planets planets. Speaking of which, let's see what the planets are doing this month. We have our sky set for just after sunset facing southwest. High in the southwestern sky, you can see the unmistakable glow of our sister planet, Venus. Venus is often called our sister planet because it's almost the same size as Earth at only 7,500 miles, or just over 12,000 kilometers in diameter. Venus is bright because it is the closest planet to us, and it reflects almost 70% of the sunlight that hits it. Venus is completely covered by clouds, and those clouds act like a giant mirror, reflecting sunlight very well. Let's shift our view to the morning sky, and here's where things get exciting. We have our sky set to an hour before sunrise on March 1st, and if you've never watched planets move, you're in for a treat during the month of March. Facing southeast and moving from right to left, you'll see the planets Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. All three planets are in the constellation of Sagittarius the Centaur Archer. You can find Sagittarius by looking for a teapot-shaped grouping of stars. Just to the right of it is Scorpius the Scorpion, a large J-shaped constellation. Scorpius will be directly due south, so it'll be very easy to find. Mars is the reddish point of light closest to the lid of the teapot. Jupiter is to the left of Mars, and Saturn is to the left of Jupiter. As the days pass, watch how Mars moves. We'll jump forward two days at a time. Here's where Mars will be on March 3rd, March 5th, March 7th, March 9th, and March 11th. Notice how Mars is inching closer and closer to Jupiter. By the way, this is a good opportunity for you to compare the colors of the planets. Mars has a distinct red color thanks to all the iron on its surface. This iron has rusted over the years, making the planet appear red, especially when compared to the other planets. And when ancient people saw this red planet in the sky, it brought to mind their gods of war, violence, and death. All right, let's check out Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn over the next seven days. Here's Mars on March 13th, 15th, and 17th. Wow, the waning crescent moon has joined the party, and look how close Mars is to Jupiter now. Let's move time forward one more day to March 18th. Bang! Now the moon is in a close conjunction with both Mars and Jupiter. A conjunction is the official term astronomers use when two or more planets appear close to each other in the sky. With Saturn nearby, this makes a beautiful display in the early morning sky on March 18th. So, there you have it a wonderful planetary pileup to prepare you for the beginning of spring. Make sure you join us for our next episode, where we'll continue the preview of this conjunction, and we'll give you some fun facts about these planets and tell you a little bit about why the beginning of spring is so important. The sky can be such a beautiful sight, especially when you remember to keep looking up. Keep looking up.